Hello, this is the camera obscura I've made in my place called the Ideas Lab. And the aim of this um, whole place is to be shrunk down to the size of a cell. Um, the camera obscuras are a bit like the sensory parts of a cell, the parts of the cell that you can actually see outside. But let me show you how this artwork is um, constructed. Um, I've been patiently boarding up all the windows in my studio for the last three weeks building kind of insertable boxes so that I can create a space that's completely dark inside. Um, I don't know whether you've ever had this experience, but when you're inside a very dark place, dark room, and if light is coming through a hole like a keyhole, you, you sometimes discover, you have that amazing moment where you discover the world outside has been projected onto the a sort of back wall of that dark space, upside down. And that's the principle of what we've got here, which is the camera obscura. And it's also the principle of how an eye works, a human eye or an animal eye. Um, have a look at this image here, the thing that looks a bit like a washing machine. Um, the vans are turning down, um, down around by St George's Park in Peckham and swinging around the image all at the same time. Um, if I look down here, I can see the sky because I'm looking up through the hole. I'm seeing the blue above it. And now I put my eye here, looking downwards, and I can see the ground, um, which is great. So, what we've got then is an image made up of different viewpoints. So, it's blue at the bottom, and gray at the top. Imagine putting all that together with all the different viewpoints, and we get a whole world which is impeded through the hole, as it were, metaphorically speaking, and is now upside down. Now, scientifically, um, this image here. Um, and the apparatus that's making it could be, and I'm going to show you all my sort of computer trickery, it could be this, which is a sensory cell, um, just part of the outer part of a normal cell with um, uh, sensory parts in, or for um, more complicated organisms, it could be this, a uh, light sensor, and I'm going to make this one appear. This could be more bringing round the cell to create another dark aperture. Or it could be this, which is the fully developed eye. And there you can see the lens as well, which is an extra thing, actually formed from the skin of the fetus as the animal develops. It preserves some of that pure, transparent skin, and then, then use it as a lens. So, finally then, we've got a piece of apparatus here, which are more advanced organisms, and I'm going to do a bit more trickery here, could end up with this, which is a covering of cells, picking up all the images on here, a bit like the pixels inside a digital camera, pick up the image at the back of the camera when you're taking a photograph. And finally, as my little joke, um, of course it could be one of these, which uh, reminded me of this, um, I've got a few chores to do at home. So this is Julian from the Ideas Lab, and this is the first of four videos on the camera obscura. Thank you.